Today's video topic is red wine, good or bad. How good does it feel after a tiring day to come home and pour yourself a glass of red wine? It's like you're rewarding yourself for all the hard work you have done and a treat that you deserve the most. Over the recent couple of years, wine specifically has gained notoriety for being great for our well-being. Red wine has even been associated with long lifespan and lowered hazard of coronary illness. What is less notable is that some connection is found among cancer and alcohol. Consumption of one wine bottle each week is related with an expanded outright lifetime cancer risk for non-smokers of 1% for men and 1.4% for ladies. What is red wine? Red wine is an alcohol preparation prepared by crushing and fermenting dark-colored grapes. There are many varieties with different tastes like Cabernet Sauvignon, Shiraz, and Zinfandel. The alcohol content in an average wine ranges from 12 to 15 percent. The French Paradox The French Paradox is a theory that emerged very popularly in the 1980s. Despite having a higher amount of saturated fat in their diet, French people had a very low death incident due to any heart disease. The reason that was given for this was red wine. This so-called X factor was rich in antioxidant compounds like resveratrol and flavonoids especially that were said to be cardioprotective. This theory hasn't been proven though. Although the antioxidant compounds like resveratrol have been shown to be beneficial, the same goes for many other chemical compounds. Hence, there is no solid evidence behind this. Red wine can be destructive to your heart. Research shows that even low measures of alcohol increase the chances of atrial fibrillation. AFib is a condition in which the heartbeat is irregular and can potentially expand your risk for blood clots, stroke, and cardiovascular failure. Alcohol may likewise increase chances for a coronary episode and congestive heart failure. So what about the French paradox? It ends up, the French eating routine was more grounded and healthier than thought at the point, and as we currently know, drinking loads of wine doesn't seem to boost well-being or increase longevity. Resveratrol might be helpful in treating type 2 diabetes, weight, colorectal malignant growth, and hypertension among different illnesses. Be that as it may, this is regarding potentially taking it as a supplement, not consuming moderate measures of red wine. But are red wine drinkers healthier? By and large, red wine doesn't seem to be very different from other cocktails. Studies show that drinking red wine is associated with positive well-being on various measures, yet it's presumably not due to the wine itself. You could see that the responsible alcohol consumers are improving in general well-being. However, the non-drinkers may be skipping liquor explicitly for the fact that their physician instructed them not to drink on the grounds of a medical issue while the people who are drinking are mostly healthy. Those with healthy bodies and no medical condition can consume as much as they feel like, but those who have some medical condition cannot even tolerate a glass of wine. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.